Huawei is suing the U.S. government, claiming it has been unfairly banned from use in United States government networks. The U.S. has labeled Huawei a security risk and claims users of their equipment could be spied upon by the Chinese government. Huawei denies wrongdoing and says its systems are safe and secure. Rotating Huawei chairman Guo Ping claims the U.S. has hacked Huawei servers, emails and source code, but has found no evidence of wrongdoing. After exhausting all other means to allay the doubts of some U.S. lawmakers, we are left with no choice but to challenge the law in court. The ban was passed by Congress in 2018 as part of a sprawling defense spending bill. It bars the U.S. government and contractors from purchasing equipment or services from five Chinese tech companies, including Huawei. The suit claims the law unfairly targets Huawei, violates the company's due process rights by denying the company a chance to defend itself, and claims the U.S. Congress overstepped its bounds when making the law. It is effectively adjudicating on its own whether or not Huawei is in fact influenced and subject to the Chinese government instead of allowing the executive and the courts uh, to make that judgment as the statute allows for all other companies. The lawsuit could force the U.S. to produce evidence to back up its claims. It could also force Huawei to reveal more about its inner workings. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, who supports the ban, tweeted, Huawei is suing U.S. government? Good. Can't wait until discovery phase so world can see how they cheat, steal, and spy for government of China. But Huawei executives say they welcome oversight. And at Huawei, we are very proud that we are the most open, most transparent organization in the world. And we allow our customers and their professional teams to come and audit and inspect and review everything that we do. It's easy. Last year, a judge threw out a similar suit filed by a Russian cybersecurity firm that was also banned in the U.S. The judge in that case ruled that protecting American computer networks outweighed damages done to private companies. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.